Hello there. After the deadline for forming a government has expired, as you all knew, a new election is required in Northern Ireland. The background to the statement is the dispute over the Northern Ireland Protocol, officially. In the former troubled region of Northern Ireland, elections are no longer to be held before Christmas, though. This was announced by the responsible minister in the British cabinet, Chris Heaton-Harris, on Friday in London. After a period of several months to form a government has elapsed, a new regional parliament has to be elected in Northern Ireland. Heaton-Harris plans to present the timetable for this in Parliament in London next week. The Secretary of State emphasized that he still faced a legal obligation to call a new vote based on current legislation, a signal that the UK was likely to escape that obligation just by amending the law. Current legislation requires me to name a date for an election to take place within 12 weeks of October 28th. Next week I will make a statement in Parliament to lay out my next steps, he said. And it doesn't sound like naming a date. While Heaton Harris still retains legal wiggle room to hold a stormant election up to January 19th, officials in Belfast said this would not happen, given it would require parties to campaign door-to-door -door over Christmas and New Year's holidays. This means new rules will have to be passed. The UK government is preparing draft legislation to amend the Northern Ireland Act for the second time in a year. That's what the rumors are at the moment. The act was last overhauled in February to give the Assembly up to 24 weeks to form a cross-community government following an election. Otherwise, as amended, a new vote must be held following the expiry of that 24-week window. The rule now being delayed and potentially overwritten again by London. One Belfast official said the most likely scenario would be to give Heaton Harris new flexibility to set the new election date at a time when wider conditions suited. This would allow a stormant election rerun to be delayed indefinitely and London rule as well indefinitely. A focus of popular speculation is May 4th when Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK are already scheduled to hold elections to local councils. By then, all sides hope, London and Brussels will have successfully concluded negotiations to reform how post-Brexit trade rules are enforced at Northern Irish ports, the dispute that had gridlocked power sharing installment officially, but that won't happen by the way in that time frame. The talks resumed at a technical level last month, but have reported little progress, so I wouldn't bet on that one. Heaton Harris, who was appointed by former UK Prime Minister Liz Truss to the diplomatically treacherous Belfast post in September, survived last month's reshuffle when Rishi Sunak entered Downing Street. But senior Northern Ireland politicians and former secretaries of state questioned whether he could survive such a fundamental mishandling of his first policy decision because up to now he only has made chaos. Heaton Harris claimed to have no choice in the matter and would call a new vote once the clock struck midnight. After allowing Stormont to shut, he botched his first post-election comments, insisting after a day of confusion that a vote still would happen on an unknown date and denied when directly asked that he was about to change course. And Friday's crash U-turn followed meetings with the leaders of four Northern Ireland parties on Tuesday and with uh, Simon Coveney on Wednesday, the Foreign Minister of Ireland. All advised him to avoid an election focused on a resolution of the UK-EU dispute over the trade protocol. Although, how can they believe that this will happen? Some party leaders said a 2023 storm and vote might be meaningful if London and Brussels had agreed a solution to the dispute over trade rules before it happens. But that won't happen, because London will block everything. The background to the political paralysis is the dispute over the special Brexit rules for the part of the country known as the Northern Ireland Protocol. The unionist DUP party wants the deal signed by former Prime Minister Boris Johnson with the EU to be scrapped. That won't happen either, not from both sides together. They therefore refuse to join a government, but that is just smokescreen. They have totally different directions. But the Northern Ireland Protocol is intended to ensure that no border checks are necessary despite Brexit between the north of the Emerald Isle and the rest of Ireland. 
This is intended to prevent the dispute between the majority um, unionist support. The, 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 no, no, they're not a majority anymore. The unionist supporters with Great Britain and the supporters of the union with Ireland from breaking out violently again. Instead, however, a goods border has now emerged between Northern Ireland and Great Britain. Armed groups from both sides had fought a decades-long battle that cost the lives of thousands of people. The conflict only ended in 1998 with the Good Friday Agreement. It provides that the regional government is always formed from the two largest parties of both denominations. For the first time in the country's history, the Republican Party Sinn Féin, which was once considered the political arm of the terrorist organization IRA, had the right to claim the post of head of government. In the last election in May, they were the strongest force ahead of the DUP, and that for the first time, as I said, but that is the point why the DUP don't want to be in that government, not the protocol. That is just a smokescreen. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.